From time to time, we get a call asking how to determine which floor plan goes with which street address. Unfortunately, the cost of matching every single floor plan with every single street address is prohibitive. However, if you're willing to do a little detective work, you can determine this on your own. Let me show you how. I'm going to start by opening Google Maps. In this example, my browser has opened the new Google Maps. I prefer the classic Google Maps because it has a 45 degree view. You'll see what I mean in just a moment. To change back, I'll click on the question mark icon. Select Return to Classic Google Maps. I'll check the box to answer their feedback questionnaire and click on the hyperlink. I want my browser to remember my preference, so I'll click Yes. Click Dismiss. Hide the left panel and begin my search. I'll enter the address of my subject property, 5 Tomahawk Street. I'm not sure which city it's in, but I do know the zip code, 92679. So I'll select the Kodo address and zoom in. Let me show you what I mean by 45 degree view. I'm going to click the down arrow in the traffic box, turn off the 45 degree view, and now I only see the tops of the houses. I'll turn the 45 degree view back on. I'm going to make a mental note that my subject property is located on the north side of the street and is the third house east of Altura. I'm also going to note some of the distinctive features my subject has, such as the location of the garage and the location of the fireplace. But there is one distinctive feature my subject has that no other model has, steps leading up to the front porch. I'll close Google Maps and log in to my Inside Tract account. I'm going to search for tracks by street name. I'll enter Tomahawk and click Go. This brings up the Street Search Results page. Now I'm presented with an anomaly. The area of Wagon Wheel has the same zip code as the area of Cota de Casa, but MLS has placed Wagon Wheel in the city of Rancho Santa Margarita. In either case, this must be my subject's tract, California Silverado. I'll click on the hyperlink. This is my member's report. I'll click here for a premium report. Now I see my premium report. I still need to identify which floor plan goes with number 5 Tomahawk Street. First, I'll click on the Site Details button. Next, I have to tell IE I want to stay on this page. Here is a site plan for the California Silverado Tract. I'll press my F8 key to show the Acrobat toolbar. I'll click on the Best Fit tool to view the entire site plan and rotate it clockwise so that the north arrow points to the top of the screen. Now I'll zoom in to the northeast corner of Tomahawk and Altura. I'll count three lots over to the right and see that my subject property is located on lot 38. It's a plan 2AR. Let me take a moment to explain how builders determine which model goes on which lot. In their coding system, the first digit indicates which plan it is. In this case, the subject is a plan 2. The next character indicates which elevation or style the model is. In this case, the subject is elevation A. The subject also has a third character, an R, indicating that this plan is the reverse of the original model for this tract. All we care about 
is the first number, the plan number. The subject is a plan 2, so it must be this plan, the Silverton Plan 2. I'll click on the hyperlink. And it brings up the Silverton Plan. I'll press my F8 key to view the Acrobat toolbar. Then I'll rotate the plan 90 degrees counterclockwise. I'll click on the Zoom to Selected Area tool and draw a box around the plan. On the first floor, we notice the garage is on the right side. On the second floor, we notice the fireplace is on the left side. But the most distinctive feature are the steps leading up to the front porch. This is definitely the subject plan. I'm going to save this plan, so I'll click on the Save tool. I've already created a file folder for the subject. It's number 5 Tomahawk. I'll open the folder and rename the document to something I can remember. I'll name it Silverton Plan 2. And click on the Save button. To learn more, visit our website at InsideTrack.net.